Well, hello, Scott here on Nairsborough Road today, driving towards Starbeck and road for a cheeky half. Haven't been for a cheeky half for a while. And coming into Starbeck here, remember that pub? That was, I think, called the Henry Peacock. Have I got that right? Uh, that's the Prince of Wales there over on the left hand side. Not many places to have a drink if you happen to be in Starbeck. A few clubs and stuff. But that's changed and it's changed very recently. So on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, I went to a new place, brand new place, on its fourth day, the Office Ale House. And, spoiler alert, it is fantastic. So a first for me, I actually emailed ahead and asked if I could speak to Kevin, that's Kevin there, and he's going to tell us all about his new pub. So I see from uh, the at the back there it says, sorry love, I'm stuck in the office, so we know what the name is, is all about. So uh, I think a really a well needed a place like this in Starbucks, there's absolutely nothing of this quality I don't think anywhere no, near, is there? I opened it because I was living in Starbeck and I wanted to get out of the house when I was working from home and there was nowhere for, for me to go or my partner to go. Um, and I think we've achieved a, a good mix of clientele. We had a lovely lady uh, who's, she's late 60s, somewhere around there, never been in a pub by herself wow. at all in all her life. She came in for a glass of wine the other day. Um, nearly had me in tears because she said it was a lovely place and she felt comfortable enough to get in. So, real ales, wines, all local breweries supporting local businesses. Um, we've got Daleside, Harrogate Brewing, Roosters, Turning Point and Yorkshire Heart and we'll rotate their casks. We've got four cask lines and hopefully we've got a nice place for people to meet. Yeah, it certainly looks very nice. I've had a taste of my uh, Harrogate Pale, which is very good indeed. And uh, so we've been busy, busy from the start. I think you opened on Friday, haven't you? Friday, we opened on Friday. Uh, almost ran out of beer. Wow. Um, had to get a couple of the breweries to open up Saturday morning to get some more beer in. That's good. Um, yeah, it's been a very successful so far, but it's been a lovely atmosphere. Brilliant. And that's um, what we need. And lots of people have said that it's somewhere that they will come again and it's just a nice comfortable place to be. So I've seen your handy USB charging yep. points on the bar which is a very good idea indeed and it looks like you've got a bit of bottle sales there as well? Yes we sell um, for takeout as well we've got all the local breweries the five that I've mentioned we've also got some German and Belgian beers that we get in specially um, we do sell wine as well and we've actually got Yorkshire Heart wine Oh, which right. is, uh, it's grown, I know you said brewed, but it's grown at Nun Moncton, which is 10 miles away. That's right, so that's the, the vineyard which is uh, just there on the way to York, isn't it? On the, yes, On yes, the 59, I think. And we also sell Harrogate Tipple, um, okay. which is a distillery at um, Ripley. And I've heard a rumour that they are doing a collaboration between Yorkshire Heart and Harrogate Tipple to do brandy. Oh wow. So I'm waiting for that and we'll be stocking that as soon as it's available. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time, Kevin. Uh, best of luck to you. It, it looks great and uh, I'm sure you're going to be very, very busy. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Liz and I sat down with our drinks. I had a half of Harrogate Pale this had a Coke Zero. Packet of cheese and, cheese and onion crisps, £4.40, which I think was cheap. I mean, I, did they forget to add on the crisps? I don't know. But anyway, very relaxing place to have a drink. It's a really friendly place. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a walk for me, so I don't want to be an absolute regular regular, but I would recommend it. Very nice. I'm going to give it uh, a high mark. I'm still contemplating what, it's, what I'm going to give it. It'll be up on the screen pretty much now. But uh, welcome and good luck to the office alehouse so drum roll please for the first time ever i have given a place five tank cards 4.6 being the official score uh, really good really enjoyed my time there i will caveat it though uh, it's a, such a high score because it is exactly my kind of place so real ale uh, wines uh, local gins uh, a nice a nice friendly and quiet relaxing place to have a drink uh, exactly the kind of pub that I like Elizabeth and I thoroughly enjoyed the 20 minutes or so that we uh, that we spent and many, many thanks to Kevin and the team for making us feel so welcome and the USB port were probably the clincher. Thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please consider subscribing to this channel also I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell if you do that you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.